check, 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 check. Hey, man. Hey, have you ever have you ever featured uh, Vanish before? What the? F and we're back on shelfies. Are you okay? All right, just making sure. Anyways, today we're gonna be featuring Vanish. What? Son of a. Welcome back for another week of Shelfies. I'm Turd Ferg, the fussiest craft beer fan in the world, and this is my man, the beer guy. Baltimore Sun uh, ranked, uh, did a ranking system of uh, top five uh, beer briars in the Baltimore area, and Rob actually ended up number one. So I, came in, I came in number six. Thank you, Baltimore Sun. Woo, thank you, that. Baltimore Sun. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, super awesome show today. We have uh, we got a lot of we have a guest today. coming by from a place called Van Ish. We're gonna start with Aslan Brewing Company. Uh, this is a stout. We don't usually feature a lot of dark beers on this show. We do not. Um, this is a over ten percent stout with coconut. Uh, it's got these chocolate coconut notes going on. It's really, really good. Mm. It tastes straight up almond joy. Yes. But it finishes with a, a little bit of dark chocolate note to it, which is yes. amazing. Coconut up front, dark chocolate. You get a little back. bit of almond mid palate, almost nutty, yeah. nuttiness mid palate. Man, what a fantastic beer this is. And they're really like killing it again. So really, really quality stuff from Aslan. Uh, you had a chance to hit a trip up to Vermont. I was up in Vermont. Shout out to our friend Wiz at Harpoon, a bunch of friends of ours. Um, this is from Hill Farmstead. This is Hill Farmstead. Our friend Scott brought this down to us. Um, they mm. went up there. I didn't go to Hill Farmstead personally, but wow, it's so good, right? It's like real soft Damn. and real easy drinking. I don't know what the this is. This is fantastic. Are. Yeah, wow. this is terrific beer. What are the hops on that? It's uh, Barbarian hops, I believe. It's right? like Hawatau and Simcoe. I had a chance to go to Burley Oak this past week. I'd like to give a shout out to Ken, Ren, and Jeff, who uh, me and my buddy JD met in line. You guys rock. They had some ridiculous beers from other half and all kinds of crazy <laughs> But anyways, shout out to Burley Oak too. Fantastic time, amazing share, amazing beers we bought. Next up, we're gonna feature something a little new. Mike Kiefer from Rubber Soul Brewing Company just dropped off to Whitey's six or five cases of, five pace, cases of, of their Pace Line Session IPA. So this yeah. is it. If you want Rubber Soul stuff in the Baltimore area, you gotta come here to get it. It's super sessionable, but it also has a lot of flavor for it being a session beer. These guys are down in Salisbury, but also up in PA. Yeah. So, this is a Hell solid yeah. beer. Next up is something from out of state, but still kind of local. It's Vanish, right? Vanish. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. We've heard a lot of good things about Vanish Van recently. Uh, I got to try some of the beers when we met Larry at the... Uh, CBC. CBC. At the thing at, uh, I can't Yeah, remember. shout out BJ and Larry. Uh, we got to meet you guys at that event, so that was really cool. And uh, you, I mean. Be, you know, it'd be good if like, I don't know, you think somebody from Vanish might what? show what? up. Is this what you guys do this? <laughs> this is awesome. This, this is the best place I've been shopping in a while. <laughs> Well, welcome, thank you. Welcome, Larry Pomerantz, to the show from Vanish. <laughs> hey, good seeing you, bro. Guys, how are you? Nice, nice seeing you. What's oh, happening? Oh, excuse us. Yeah. Yep, you're good. So we have today. We have. This is your Belgian, the Wraith. This is our Belgian white, the Wraith. Uh, and we have that is, on draft here. Mm-hmm. That's uh, that's one of our standard recipes we do all the time. You can uh, find it year round. It's a classic Belgian white. Uses mm. some coriander and some orange peel in there with there a go. little touch of chamomile to make it a little mm. bit different. There you go. Mm. Might as well drink it note. while you're talking about it, right? So tell us. Wow. About yeah, that's so. That's so nice. Like, I I tend to not order a lot of Belgian beers because I do fear a lot of spicy yeast. This is so pleasant on, on the palate, man. This is great. This is ester driven, so we try to stay away from the spicy phenols. Right. Uh, this is definitely ester driven. We try to gear it more towards the fruit and the floral properties. Mm. 
Yeah, this is great. Yeah, this is this fantastic. Is, this style is not like a big style for me, but I really like These this. This is um, just a sample bottle, but oh, we have it sorry. for grower fills. This is one of our most popular brands. Um, uh, Vanish is a 53 acre farm brewery, and it really is, and it's an experience. Uh, so where, where is it? We are in Luckett's, Virginia, which is right on US 15, right in between right in between two great beer towns, right in between Frederick and Leesburg, yeah. Virginia. Oh, nice. So very accessible from both towns. And we're a 53 acre farm brewery with a big hop yard, 20 beers on tap. And our tasting room, most tasting rooms are measured in square footage. We measure ours in acres, okay? Nice. It's like, it's like a six acre tasting room with indoor and outdoor <laughs> space. Uh, private rooms available to uh, to host parties and weddings wow, and that awesome. kind of stuff. That's fantastic. Um, so it's well kids, dogs, everybody's welcome. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, very family friendly. We have an indoor dog area called Dogtown. Really? Oh yeah. That's so awesome. So year round dog wow. accessibility. That's awesome. Yeah. Yep. Uh, something for everybody. Our owner Jonathan Staples opened the place with a with the dream of basically keeping this property rural and keeping it as a something the community can enjoy because it was slated to become 48 houses oh, and wow. just Thank more God. subdivisions wow. in the area he saved the land kept it agricultural turned wow. it into something really cool that people That's really awesome. enjoy and uh and basically if he hadn't done that that agricultural area would have vanished how, how big is the hop yard it's a five acre hop yard. And then we wow. have the East Coast's largest uh, hop picking and processing facility. Wow. So we have wow, a, that's amazing. a big wolf picker that's, uh, that's uh, 1972. We need to do a, a Shelfie's Road yeah, Show we, down we the road. So yeah. how, how many different hops do you grow? Uh, we just have uh, everything in our yard right now is Cascade and Centennial. Okay. Um, but uh, but it's, a, it's a large yard. So we just brewed our first wet hop beer of the season. Nice. We're harvesting you, right do now. Do you find that those hops grow really well in this climate? Cascade is the most versatile for okay. and best easily adaptable hop to grow in this area. So we have another beer with our friends from Barley and Hops, which we have here. Yeah, a nice little collaboration between Vanish and, and Barley and Hops And this is Frederick. actually not due to be released till... We brewed it at Vanish, and it's being released at Vanish on oh. Friday afternoon. Um, so we'll also cool. have uh, Poorhouse Trivia out there, uh, pizza and wow. barbecue that day as well. Um, but this, this was brewed. This was brewed with our friend Eric Gleason uh, as our guest brewer. Um, but basically, wow, it is a mango pale ale with lactose, and then we also used wow. uh, Amarillo and Galaxy hops in there. It's a half kettle sour. It's kind of a, a collaboration. So it's of like ideas. a hybrid style in a way. Absolutely. Yeah, it borrows off of several things that are going on from the milkshake IPA. It borrows from oh, the kettle wow. sours. It, you know. It borrows some <laughs> elements wow. and slams it all together. So this is awesome. Yeah, because so, it is like slightly sour, mm -hmm. but right. it is a little sweet. But it's like sweetness from the fruit, which which is really good too. It, so is there a lactose in this too? There is a lactose milk sugar in this to add to the creaminess in the cool. body, but it helps really play mm. off of the mangoes that were added to the secondary. Yeah, thank you so much, Larry, for dropping by the show. Thank hey. you everybody for watching. Thanks thank everybody. You Thanks. Fans. Um, uh, next week. Next week is, oh, a surprise. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Shelfies fans. It's a surprise because I have no idea. I don't remember. No, Larry's just leaving.